Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is DeAndre, aka Dre, in Dre and J. Um, so, thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a life update, talk about um, what I've gone through the past couple months and, and um, you know, some things that happened, transpired, and also a giveaway um, that I'll announce by the end of this video as well. So your boy got accepted into grad school. Uh, at UNT. This is my second time going to grad school. So last year I did it in journalism and I kind of, because as you know, I graduated with my undergrad in journalism, broadcast journalism. Uh, so I thought about doing it for grad. I ended up doing it and it was just not for me. I just, I did not like writing 20, 25 page essays. <laughs> it was just uh, a real struggle and, and um, one thing that I didn't like about it was the fact that all the classes were online. I'm okay with online classes, but when you have every single one of them online, it's hard, kind of hard to keep up. Uh, and that's kind of what was going on with the whole pandemic and, and, you know, COVID was the fact that school, everything was remote. So I kind of had a, a problem with that. I was struggling and by, I'm pretty sure like the last mid semester, I was kind of like done with it. And I was thinking about either you know, just giving up on grad school entirely or going into something else. And I kind of just, you know, was weighing my options over the break, winter break. Um, and I saw a lot of my old, like, uh, colleagues, they, you know, did grad school in, um, you know, sports management or, or sports entertainment management. So that's something that I was thinking about doing, like sports business. Um, so I decided to try it out. I know UNT... Um, College of Business, they have this grad school program, Sports Entertainment Management, um, where they actually do a lot of partnerships with like the Dallas Cowboys, Dallas Mavericks, and a lot of local uh, DFW teams in the area. So, you know, it was something that I, I applied for. Um, and then I ended up getting accepted, like literally a month before classes started. Um, just took a while to get everything that I needed, you know, to get submitted for, you know, to get everything viewed for them to you know decide whether to accept me or not so i ended up getting accepted um <clears throat> and then the week before we had our orientation which it was very different from um you know or grad school or it was very different from journalism you know mayborn their orientation because we really didn't have an orientation orientation like in-person orientation our orientation was online on zoom with like all these other people sharing the screen as well um, so this one was at Top Golf, and it was awesome. You know, kind of cool to uh, meet your classmates and your peers in a, in a environment outside of school. Although, like you know, it's the last one was cool because you know I could wake up. I didn't have to get dressed up. I just put on my Zoom, and that's how I was able to communicate. Uh, but this one, it was it was awesome just being in a in an environment kind of outside of school and also outside of your home. Um, so playing top golf, I'm not really a big golf person, and top golf was kind of a struggle. I, I was trying not to embarrass myself out there. Ended up doing it a little bit, um, but they actually gave us some really cool shit. So they gave us this backpack uh, with UNT, G. Brent Ryan College of Business, um, and yes, I actually did not open anything because I was going to save it to announce it in a video. This video was actually supposed to be made many, probably. Probably that first week of August, or, you know, first week of classes in August. Um, and then, you know, school and work and everything just kind of became busy. And I all these other videos and trailer reactions and, and whatnot that we had to do. So this is what they ended up giving us. So they gave us the backpack. They gave us this awesome t-shirt as well. So, G. Brent Ryan College of Business. They gave us this awesome G. Brent Ryan College of Business cup, which, enjoy it. So I'm actually happy that I get to finally use this stuff because I've been, this whole time I've been waiting to show you guys. Um, lip balm, you can always, I can always use some with G. Brent Ryan, of Col G. Brent Ryan College of Business on it. Um, these mean green socks. I love them already. I'm probably going to wear them. 
tomorrow as I go to work. And then this is really cool. They gave us this uh, a box. But basically it's a wireless phone charger. So you can set your phone up on here and charge it. Um, has a nice little stand. Has a little USB port in the back where you connect it. So that was really awesome. I'm thankful for them for giving us these awesome gifts. Um, you know, as far as, far as Mayborn, step your game up because I didn't get shit last year. <laughs> no offense to them. Um, I'll just decide it. It, it was kind of hard for them, especially when everything was virtual. Um, so that's really one of the, that's what I, I'm trying to get to as far as why. Um, Cause there was a, there was a point where I was on like a two week hiatus from making videos and a lot of it came with, you know, school and all the shit that we have to do. Uh, I actually drive to class about an hour on Monday, on Tuesdays and Wednesdays uh, for my class in Frisco. And then I don't get back till late at night. So your boy is very tired. Along, along with that, I'm also uh, working as well. So, you know, I get tired throughout the week. I try to get these videos as soon as I can. Um, you know, I'm kind of just getting them out on my own time. Like, even though there's a trailer that drops, I might not release my trailer reaction until a week later. And, you know, unfortunately, I know um, a lot of people who do reactions, they usually get it out the first day or the next day. Um, for me, just for this time period, um, especially with everything going on, it's kind of hard to. If now, sometimes I might get the chance and you might see the video that day or the next day. Um, I know we have Scream. That's supposed to be dropping tomorrow. So I'm hoping that it drops, you know, middle of the day, afternoon-ish, uh, before my class. So I can actually, you know, do it, upload it, and have it ready for you guys. Another reason why I've been late getting some videos out is because, you know, as we're heading, we're in the fall season right now. And fall's not really my season. Like, I love Halloween and everything, but I get really bad allergies and I've been sick a lot. <laughs> within the past couple weeks and, and months and you know it's not it's not anything bad like it's not COVID related or anything like that sinus infections upper respiratory infections uh strep throat so you know I've been through it <laughs> but I'm still here I'm still thankful to be healthy um you know my body my immune system is pretty good I'm trying to get it up to strength I think the problem with that is you know last because it's, it's basically been a year since I've actually been outside as much as I've been this year because last year during the fall we were all I mean me particularly we I was inside most of the time because my classes were on zoom I never had to go out for them uh, I wasn't really working around that time as well so yeah I, I was I was really inside most of the time I never really went out um, so I think it's kind of just all that catching up to me <laughs> so my body's kind of just building its way back up in my immune system so Nothing to worry about. I think I'll be fine going, you know, forward. Javante, you know, he's been great having him along in my videos. Um, <laughs> I know, like, some of our videos, we go, we argue, we bicker and stuff. That's just us, like, you know, we have our... And sometimes we even make jokes that you guys probably wouldn't understand, but we do because, you know, that's just, that's just how we are. Um, but I enjoy having him on. He's great. Um, I wouldn't want to do, any, do it with anyone else. Um, and that's actually one of the big reasons why I changed the channel because as you know the channel was originally uh, Dre's channel and then I ended up changing it to Dre and Jay uh, I just one it sounded a little cooler you know a bit catchier um, and two I, I gotta credit him because like most of my top videos that were um, like my top uploads like Halloween trailer reaction uh, Child's Play or Chucky trailer reaction you know, he's involved with them, so I want him to get as much credit as as I get uh, on my videos as well. And, you know, whether or not... Because I don't know where this channel will go. Hopefully, it can be a big success. If not, hey, I, I like doing this for fun. I like making videos. It's actually... Um, you know, it's a really nice experience. I, I actually take a lot of what I've learned in college in uh, some of my video editing classes and applying it into these videos every time. So, I, I, I really enjoy it. Um, and you know, but if this happened to be a big thing where our YouTube channel becomes a big hit, 
I want him to get as much credit as I get because, you know, he deserves it. So, and he's he's been great. So a couple of weeks ago, it actually was my birthday. I turned 25. Um, you know, I'm I'm getting old. I'm not going to lie. Well, most of my friends are pretty young and like, I'm just, I'm that old guy of the group. And it's kind of sad. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, I see it as I'm halfway to 50 and that's crazy. I'm five years away from 30. That's, I never thought I would, I would, you know, be able to think that right now. It's like, it's all happening so fast. Um, but you know, another year I'm uh, happy to be on this earth, happy to be alive, happy to be healthy and have all, you know, the people around me support me, uh, 24 seven. So, you know, I'm just grateful. Wouldn't change anything. Um, you know, I'm just, and I really want to thank everyone who shouted me out, gave me birthday wishes um, a couple weeks ago. And I even got to give a shout out to my coworkers. Um, so one of them, Erica, she actually gave me uh, a cake. She bought me a cake, red velvet cake, which I love, um, you know, between that or chocolate. I've heard that red velvet is basically chocolate just died. I don't want to hear it, you know, blocking that out. I like to think they're two different things. But uh, she gave me a red velvet cake. Um, it was really good. Loved it. So thank you, Erica. Uh, she's one of my coworkers, um, and you know, really grateful for that. And then another one of my coworkers, Alex. Uh, Got to give a shout out to you as well, man. Um, he actually gave me this Superman Funko Pop, and. Like, this thing is huge. Like, when he sent me a picture of it, I thought it was just, like, the regular size. And then when he, you know, whipped it out of his car for me, like, damn. This thing is huge. So, he really didn't have, like, none of them had to give me anything. Um, but I'm grateful for it. Uh, he's actually a real big collector in a lot of these things. And he knew I was a Superman fan. So, he went out of his way to, you know, get me this. Well, he actually had it. Um, and apparently like, I think his brother really wanted it, but he decided to give it to me. So thank you, Alex. Uh, you're a real one. And as far as my birthday, I really didn't do anything. Didn't go out, um, like I hoped, but my family, you know, my sister came down, she's in college right now, uh, at UTEP and she, she decided to drive all the way down from El Paso. Uh, I don't think she dro drove all the way down for my birthday, but she just happened to be in town for it. Um, so she was in down here, but yeah, it was really nice to have Imani come down and visit. I mean, she brought her dog, uh, Bailey Bay. She brought her down. She's a golden retriever and she's under years. Like she's not even a year old and you know, she's really playful. Macy ain't having it. You know, she kind of barks back, back at her because, uh, <laughs> Macy's kind of reclusive. She just wants to nap and sleep and, um, you know, she's not really into that loud lifestyle. She's more of a quiet dog. So Bay kind of just hurts her every, every now and then. Um, but I really enjoy having Bay over. It's just sometimes, you know, she can be a little too much, but uh, I really enjoy having her. My mom, my brother, we all went to Red Robin. They took me out to go eat. Um, I love Red Robin. Great place. Love their burgers. I was uh, satisfied with my birthday. You know, I wasn't really expecting anything too big, so this was just fine. Check out these gifts that uh, Javante and my mom got me. So, this is Miami Dolphins t-shirt. I fuck with it. It's the throwback logo, um, which is awesome. I love the classic look. And then they also gave me this hat as well. I love wearing hats, and this is a Miami Dolphins one with the classic logo as well. Um, so I really want to appreciate and really appreciate the gifts and um, you know I love love them both love Moni too even though she probably didn't get me anything but that's for another day Moni <laughs> well actually no she did she um because I don't know if you remember that vlog I did when we went to the Star Wars store but she basically bought our like we went in there and she was like okay buy everything you want and this will can make up for birthday Christmas um, this will make up for Christmas last year and then birthday this year so she did get me a gift technically. But yeah, the dolphin stuff, I'm probably not gonna wear for another week just because of how Miami's doing right now. We're one in four. Yeah, one in four. Um, you know, a lot of it goes to losing Tua for the past couple weeks. And I really wish the Dolphins would bench Jesse Davis. I'm kind of scared because the last game against Tampa Bay, which 
We moved Austin Jackson to left guard. Great move, because he actually didn't play like trash. You know, he wasn't terrible. Eichenberg's more of in his, in his natural position at left tackle, which I love. Um, I think he'll pan out there. And then we moved Jesse Davis back to right tackle, which is the same position that he played in that Buffalo game when he gave up the sack that got to a hurt. So I'm kind of hoping that... I'm kind of hoping that after this week versus Tampa Bay, they kind of go with another option. I don't know if it's moving Robert Hunt out to right tackle or bringing a veteran along. Or I don't even know why we traded for Greg Little if he isn't even going to get a shot because you know I would give him a shot at right tackle over Jesse Davis at this point. Uh, but enough Dolphins talk. You know I'm just saying I'm not going to wear it for about another week. I know we play Jacksonville this week in London, um, so I'll be sure to watch that one. If we lose to Jacksonville, then. <laughs> Uh, this this shirt and hat probably won't come out for another month if that happens. Um, I really hope we don't. But Tua should be back. We should win that game. I'll probably wear it that day. All right, so updates on the channel. Um, I really want to thank every one of you guys who subscribed so far. I think 259, um, which is amazing, especially how many subscribers I gained over this year from you know my first year. Um, trying to do YouTube. I'm really happy with the level of engagement that I've gotten from you guys, whether that's, um, you know, through lights or the comment session or, or views as well. I think my most viewed video was um, the Halloween trailer reaction that, you know, me and Javante did. And that got like 6.2 thousand uh, views, which is amazing. Like, <laughs> I'm just speechless as far as like where I originally started out and and where I am right now. I mean, it's not much. I know it's like 259 subscribers. It's not much, but um, just from day one and how, how the reach and engagement was uh, compared to this year versus last year, it's just really amazing. And I'm really excited to see where this channel can go. Um, you know, I think we offer a lot of stuff as far as trailer reactions. We do, we do a lot. And that's something that Javante was actually telling me is that as to why we probably don't get as many subscribers right now is because you know, we try to do everything like I'm trying to do sports, I'm trying to do gaming, I'm trying to do um, reactions, I'm trying to talk about Marvel and DC or, or um, I'm trying to talk about Star Wars, um, horror films, you know, there, there's just so much. And, you know, for me, that's just our lives. That's me and Javante. Like, that's what we talk about on a daily basis. We talk about all those things. So, you know, I think it's kind of rough you know, kind of hard to leave any of those things out because we, we're so passionate about all those things and we love to talk about it, um, you know, on such a regular basis. And it's really awesome to talk about with you guys as well and, um, you know, give our opinion. At, at, you know, after all, that's all we're giving is just our honest takes, our opinions. Um, you know, we love to hear you guys, your guys' opinions in the comments section. It's always amazing. Um, you know, getting some insight, especially for like some hardcore fans. I know like there was a Snake Eyes, I think trailer, I think it was the movie review or the trailer reaction. And there was someone who was really a big fan of the Snake Eyes comment, uh, you know, comic book. And I saw some of his comments and I was like, oh my God, okay, I've learned so much just from that comment alone. So it's always a great thing just to get insight from you guys because, you know, I don't think you guys are, are when it comes to like subscribers, I never view them as people who know less than the people on YouTube. You know, I like to think of it as a mutual exchange. Like I'm passing along my thoughts. You guys are passing along your thoughts. And uh, it just offers plenty of like um, plenty of amazing exchanges, you know, as far as as a lot of good talk and dialogue between uh, things that we're both passionate about. So that's what I really enjoy from it. So, yeah, Javante and I, we really want to say our thanks. Um you know, in gratitude for you guys expressing your support for this channel. Um, and we really can't wait to see where it goes from here. As you know, the channel changed from Dre's channel. It's now Dre and Jay. So if you search it up, Dre and Jay is, is the title. Um, and also, we added a social media account on Twitter and Instagram, which is Dre J underscore reviews. Um, repeating it again, it's uh, Dre J, D R E J underscore reviews. Um, be sure to follow those accounts. That's where I'll try to post like any notifications as far as videos, uh, updates. Like if I'm having a delay of some sort, you know, that's where I'll, I'll mostly post 
So be sure to follow that account and, and be tuned on it. All right, so let's cut to the chase, get to the giveaway. So as you know, it's Halloween season, um, spooky, spooky hours, as Javante would say. And Halloween Kills comes out this Thursday, which, you know, me and Javante, along with our mom and I'm on Javante's girlfriend, Jennifer, uh, my mom's boyfriend, Amari, he's also going. So we're all going to see it Thursday, um, which is going to be really cool, really exciting, really nice experience. And... I, I can't wait to watch it. I can't wait to do a review on it, which I'll probably have either that Thursday night or that Friday. So what I'm giving away is this Mecca Jamie Lee Curtis from Halloween figure. I think it's the Halloween, it's the ultimate Laurie Strode. Um, so it's really cool. I know the light kind of is getting in the way, but really cool figure. Um, it costs like $30. You can get it at Tar Target or Walmart. Uh, but here you have a chance to win it for free. So all you have to do for a chance to win is to follow us on Twitter and Instagram, DreJ underscore reviews. Uh, be sure to uh, tag three friends when you're sharing this video or any of our videos. Just tag three friends and uh, you'll have a chance to win. So those th that'll be your first chance to win. And then for, you know, if you want a better chance of winning, I'm going to be making a post about this video and about this giveaway. If you comment under that post and tag three friends as well, um, and make sure when you tag your friends, it's like people you know, like friends, family, if it's like random people or celebrities, then, you know, that's kind of different. That's, I won't count that. But um, yeah, just tag people you know. And uh, if you comment under that post that I make on both Twitter and Instagram and tag someone, then that will double your chances of winning. I'll make sure to include you in the raffle twice uh, for a chance to win. And the plan is when I'm gonna be giving this away. So it depends actually. So if you guys can help me get to 300 subscribers by the time I make the Halloween, um, Halloween Kills review, which will probably be Thursday or Friday, probably Friday, I'll just, I'll, Put it on Friday just so it has more time. Um, so if we can get the, to 300 subscribers by Friday, then I'll do the giveaway Friday. If not, then I'll do it October 31st, sadly. But um, so yeah, try to get people to subscribe to the channel, man, for real. Uh, 300 is another step. My my next real goal is 500, but 300 is uh, in the way. So let's knock that out. So yeah, if you want the chance to win this Mecca Laurie Strode figure, be sure to do the requirements and then you'll have a chance to win it. Well, either this Friday, I'll announce the winner or October 31st. Who wouldn't want a Jamie Lee Curtis figure? I mean, she's the original Scream Queen, although in this new Halloween franchise, she's nowhere near that anymore. So, but it's it's still an awesome figure to have. And, um, you know, whether you want to give it to a friend or it's a, it's a nice gift for anyone who's a big Hall Halloween fan or a Jamie Lee Curtis fan. So don't miss out on it. Also had our aunts um, do a video with us, which was pretty fun to do. I, I, you know, they're big horror fans, so we did like a horror movie top five discussion, and um, you know, they were really the people who got us into horror. You know, when we were kids, we were like six, seven years old, and we were watching horror movies with them all the time. Whenever we can't stop by their house, it was always horror. We watch horror on Christmas. Um, <laughs> so that's kind of a lifestyle, the family that I'm kind of involved with. <laughs> But, you know, we turned out good. We, did, we, turned, we, just, we didn't turn out too bad um, by watching it at an early age. But I was really grateful for them to come on, Tasha and Tina. Um, you know, much love to you guys and, and much love to you, Grandma, as well. Um, thank you for y'all for coming down this past week. Um, really enjoyed having you. Um, love seeing the kids, you know, my cousins. Uh, even though two of them, they're, they're just babies, but, like, they just don't like me right now. And maybe they'll grow out of it. I don't know. I guess... I guess I'm a person. I'm a person that's not, you know, bound to have kids in the future because they kind of they they're scared of me in a way. Like they they'll go to my brother, he can pick them up, hold them, but when they're in my arms, they start crying, screaming, and I really enjoyed having them down. And um, we'll probably do some more Halloween content, you know, scary movies. We'll I know we talked about it at the end of our video. We did like a top ten horror movie kills, top ten dumbest horror movie characters, and. All those things. So we'll try to get some videos out with them, um, maybe through Skype or something. But it's going to be awesome. So there's going to be a lot of content this upcoming month. And also this weekend, you know, Saturday, we have DC Fandom, which that's going to be a lot. I'm really excited to see all the upcoming movies and what DC has in, you know, to, to offer. 
Um, really excited for the Batman trailer. I was really like, I loved the first trailer that came out. Uh, I still watch it to this day. Like, <laughs> you know, like I'm just, I, Robert Pattinson kind of already has me sold on the Batman. So I'm really, it's, you know, excited to see what else he can have, what else he can sell me on, you know, with this upcoming trailer. Um, Flash, really interested to see how that movie, you know, goes. I know they're exploring a lot with the multiverse and, you know, how it potentially sets up a lot of the other DC movies down the line. Uh, Black Adam is another one I'm interested in. And then also uh, Superman, like... I just want to hear Henry Cavill. If Henry Cavill comes back, like that will make, I'll have a great weekend based on that that news alone. So hopefully there is some Henry Cavill Superman news and it's good news. Um, you know, as far as him returning or another man, a man of steel too, who knows? But if that, if that's the case, then I'll be coming out of DC fandom, a very happy DC fan, you know? So, but, um, uh, yeah. Guys, that'll be all for this video. Um, so now you have a little bit of an update of what I've gone through. Javante, I would let him do one, but I don't know. He's kind of not really big into sharing his personal life and, and what he does. But, um, you know, I'm really excited to see where this channel goes again. Um, thank you guys for all the support, you know, from, from me and Javante both. I want to thank you. And, um, yeah, be sure to stay tuned for what we have more in store. I know we have Scream trailer tomorrow, so we'll be sure to get that out to you. Um, and yeah, let's try to get to 500. But yeah, that'll be all, you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Deuces.